three stacks and change and we'll make some um we'll make some regular rails when we get upstairs. Okay. Back upstairs. Let's see this thing. Redstone, sticks, wood, chest, toppers, stops, levers. I think I got everything. Just was missing the redstone. So if you're just joining us, and I see we've got a couple of new uh, visitors here, feel free to leave your comments in the chat. Uh, anything you want to see, any questions you want to ask. This is video five of the mob series. And I think um, we're either going to finish it live on the stream, or I, I'm going to reach the point where I'm going to be able to do a quick wrap-up on Camtasia. Now, I like doing this stuff live. Uh, forces me to think about it, forces me to try and be organized, and although you haven't seen any evidence of that, it actually, <laughs> I actually am better organized when I'm streaming versus when I'm just doing this, just running around and, and playing. Uh, I don't want to waste your time, nobody wants to waste time, so. So let's wrap, let's find out, you know, what's going on in your world. Uh, this is not it. Although I should decide, well, no, I can wrap it from there. Doesn't matter. So this is the splat pad, and it does start one block over from this. So this is going to be my stops. You with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Okay, now I'm not going to be able to have uh, torches because it's all going to be rails, right? So I am going to run a line down here and torch this. Just so I can, you know, so I have a little bit of light up here. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to wrap this. See, who is who's building right down there? Geek within. If that's you, will you uh, will you leave me a message? I, I really want to find out who that is. I uh, I haven't been using. There's you see all that gravel right there. Oh, somebody has. Somebody's not quite a bit down. So I had been using it, but since you've moved into the area, whoever's in that in that area, I haven't because I you know I want permission, but. I've been using it for a while, and I'd like to continue using it. So, let's see. Really? All the rails are upstairs? All the chests are upstairs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's lay... Let's lay the blocks in, so... I'm thinking gold, gold, gold... No. Gold, gold, hopper, hopper, rail, redstone, right? So redstone along here. Right, and I know there's a less expensive way to do this with redstone, but um, I think it's going to look cool from the bottom. <laughs>
So, does anybody have a better design? I, my original design was the splat pad. And since then, I have, uh, I've tried a couple of different things. I've tried a water channel. Um, I've tried uh, multi-steps with lava down into it. Um, this one seemed like the least resource in intensive. And, you know, maybe I'm just dead wrong. Maybe I'm not seeing something. But how do you move this kind of, you know, loot down to your storage system? If you've got a good design, leave it in the comments down below. Uh, if you've got a video, you know, heck, provide me a link. I'll, I'll go look at it. We'll go check it out. I think I may be overbought. What do you think? Oh, goodness. You know, and as I get more gold, I can always come in here and add some additional powered rails. I mean, I'd like this sucker fish to go fast. I want, uh, you know, I want the goods to be flowing down and hitting my, my storage system PDQ. Ah, good grief. more gold than iron and I do want it to go faster so with Missouri's help uh, let's let's add three more three, one, two. Huh. you know timing wise how much time do you figure I'll need to uh, take the track out from underneath this guy. We're kind of right at the halfway point, aren't we? Did it! Sweet! I'll do one more. There we go. Okay. This is looking pretty good, guys. Yep. Yep, I'm loving this. We'll do it same, same on this side. Ooh, three, one, two, three. Okay, I'll get all of these plugged in. So... Oops. Yeah, so this design, not quite as resource intensive as my original design, but still pretty resource intensive. I'm just really hoping for a good uh, return on my investment. <gasps> oh, that was close. Did you see that? That was so close. Oh, it did. It stopped. Sorry. Go, go, go. Okay, and what did we do down there? Did we do... Well, because of the hopper line, we didn't. So this is three. This, You know, I think it's moving pretty fast. What do you think? It doesn't take a really long time to get from one end to the other. I'm thinking that'll work. Okay, so we're going to lead it to here. We're going to drop it down. And uh, we're going to go create the sorter. We're going to 
add a couple of more torches just because, you know. I do not want them spawning right here. Okay, got, um... I need some more hoppers. Where's my chest? Right there. Do I not have... I do not have a crafting table on this level. What was I thinking? <gasps> really? Okay, so... need, uh... Let's start with this. Forty-five. Yeah, like I said, that beats the heck out of uh, 370 hoppers for the splat pad. So mine carts, just running up and down. How many? I've got line of seven. I need six more. I'm gonna need to go get some more iron. There's five. One, two, three, four, come on. Five. Oops. I do not have any more iron. Are you kidding me right now? I overmade on hoppers, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So does anybody know if here, let's try it. What I'm trying to figure out... No, it won't pick it up, will it? How close does it have to be to be picked up? Oh my goodness, my hands were on the wrong keys. If I'd been near the edge, I'd have been over. Did it pick that up? That's pretty close. What I'm trying to figure out, well, you know, what I'm thinking is, does it need to be on every single row? Or can it be on every other row? I don't know. We'll see. Let's go set these down and get them going. to time it. I don't guess it matters. That's the geek in me. I want to get a pretty pattern going. Yeah, those two being locked, I'm not loving. Maybe I could go unlock them. <laughs> it's, it's a little like dodging. Oh, really? All right. Okay. So I want. I want a little bit of a staggered pattern. got it too close to that other one. Daggummit. Okay, so which one doesn't have... Is it this one right here? Yeah, this one right here doesn't have anything on it. Okay, so I need one more minecart. And... Knock the holes out, run the hopper lines. We're so close. So this is looking kind of cool from underneath. I think I'll go ahead and wrap it all the way around with... Uh, with the birch. And you know what? Um, it's just one, but I think I'm going to move it. 
I am. I think I'm going to move it. Okay. That's it. Mine carts away. So as the mobs drop from here, they'll land on the um, mine cart, the rails, the, you know, they'll splat, right? The mine carts will pick up their drops, deliver them to this row of hoppers. The hoppers will deliver them downstairs. Now, again, this is... This is um, not correct. This doesn't need to be here. Okay, this is part of the torch tower. It keeps going, right? So I do need a signal to go in here that will fire the water up above. So I think we have enough for a test fire. What do you guys think? I don't have the sorter built. Sorter bit. Well, okay, I can't wait anymore. L let's go test fire it. Let's go off lay this. Uh, maybe keep a couple of these with me just in case. I have some dark wood, some light wood. Let me put this here. We're just going to test fire it, right? So, I might need a repeater. I might need a torch. I know I might need a lever. So, let's grab a lever for testing. Are you excited? I'm excited. We may be about to turn this mob farm on. Okay, it's not done, obviously. I still need... Um, the sorting room done. I need a way to collect all the stuff. Now I'm collecting it and I'm flowing it off to that edge, but I need, you know, I I need to take it to the next step. So, okay. This is level 1. We need We need some water. You know, announcing, narrating. Oh my god, look at that. That's a beautiful thing. It could not have gone better. Look, look, look. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is perfect. Wow. Wow. That is so cool. Okay, so... Let's see, I have a choice. I can go ahead and knock all this stuff down and let them start spawning and dropping. I think that's what I'm going to do. While the water's flowing and I have nothing to worry about. Oh my god, I cannot believe. First, rattle out of the box. If you. Oh! If you had any idea what I went through on the last one, it was. It was painful. It was literally. I, I probably spent a day and a half, two days fiddling, trying to get it right. Uh, 
Um, I wired and rewired multiple times. Let's see, is that one? Yep. Okay. When I eventually got it all done, it was so fiddly that if I did any one thing, I broke it and I had to start all over. And you know, this stuff is all about timing, right? If you undo one and you, you know, you uh, send power to the next one, they're out of sequence, and now now they remain out of sequence. So the next time you fire the the pulse, you know the one that was on goes off, the one that was off goes on. <laughs> so you have to make sure you interrupt the signal. It was just it was just a big nightmare. It really was. Oops, my turbo pick. Sorry. So look at this. Oh my God. So I'm gonna leave the water flowing for right now, uh, so nobody spawns up here. Because, um, yeah, I just I, I'm not I'm not quite ready to meal, deal with mobs. <gasps> oh, I thought I walked right off the edge. That would be bad, right? Not so bad since I have floors below. First time I did this, I was over a lake. And I mistakenly thought I was directly above it. So I let go of shift. It was an accident, of course. But I wasn't too worried about it because I was over water, right? Missed the water by a half an inch. Fell to my death. I had two deaths on Cherry. That was one of them. <gasps> Scared me. doing good grief I'm pretty stoked I gotta tell you this one was better planned but I still did not expect perfection the first time that was just that was shocking that's all I'm gonna say I know uh, I've heard Mumbo say he's a professional minecrafter he's a pro and there are times I feel like I'm a pro but then there are times that I do really stupid stuff, and I realize I'm not. Uh, and I'm definitely no red uh, redstone expert. I mean, my gosh, it took me three tries to get the torch tower right. Uh, so, you know, definitely not an expert. But then something comes along like this, with one fire, and it's perfect first rattle out of the box. And I think, maybe, maybe I'm a professional minecrafter. Maybe. this much. So there is one thing I can do, of course, while I work on the stuff down below, and that's leave the water on, like I'm like I'm planning to do. Uh, that'll help keep the mobs down. Now, it won't be 100%. There are going to be areas I think that they might be able to spawn. Uh, I'll do what I can to keep those to a minimum. Let's see. Ready? I'm actually curious what my spawn rates are going to be. If uh, TMH added any kind of um, spawn cap or mon mob cap, what do you call it? Mob cap? Okay, I'm going to go collect everything. Oh, I left that one. Can I reach it? No. Why does it look like there's water on that? Oh, there's not. Okay. 
All right. You ready? Let's see what happens when we turn it off. And then back on. Uh oh. Oh, because we didn't pulse. Here's the pulse. Yep. All the water's off. And if I stand here just a minute, I bet we see somebody spawn. Here, I'll put that arrow on here. Light levels may not be low enough. Okay, everything fired at once. Look at that. Oh my god. I just cannot tell you how exciting that is. Oh, you know what? I should uh, I should go close these off before I finish this. Because when I do this, the light's going to go. There's level three. Come on. Level two. Come on. Okay, last level. I'm so stoked. Okay, now this one, gotta be a little more careful. I think I'm gonna go get these odd ones first. So I'm just doing a straight cut down below. Oh, see, I like that one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Washed my rails off. Okay, gotta be really careful. Yep, yep, yep. Did not realize that water washed rails. That's, uh, that's really good information to have. Yeah, that, uh, I wonder how I can use that. That would be a quick way to go pull up mine car or mine rails in an abandoned mine I always use my uh, my axe my pickaxe but if I could throw water down and that would wash them away hmm hmm how did I not know that rails are washed away by water how did I not know that <laughs> For just a second there, I thought I knocked the block out I was standing on. That would be bad, right? So I'm guessing all this stuff we're knocking down is hitting in my uh, carts down below. And gathering up. Let's see. Can I reach this? Okay, there we go. The mob farm, cha-ching, is finished. Well, this part is. That is so cool. Oh, look, that one missed it. Oh, it, because of the water? Do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, let's see. Let's push it. Oh, don't. Dead gummit. Dead gummit. Where's my sword? Did I put it over here when I offloaded everything? Oh, it's in the one upstairs, of course. Sorry. I spend a lot of time on ladders for somebody who doesn't do very well on ladders. keep my tools with me. What else do I need? Okay, you know what? Um, let's just do it. Are you ready? That should have turned it all off. Let's go see. Now what will happen is they'll begin spawning. Okay, they won't actually drop off until uh, until the water flows again. That's the good news. Let's see. Uh, except for, oh, good grief. Except for spiders. Spiders will attack you. Heck, even zombies might drop off. But this depth should be far enough that it will be fatal to them. Okay. I think I'm going to wait down here for just a minute. Oh, see, I see spider eyes. So they're already beginning to spawn. You know what? Can I fire it from here? Uh... Not really, because didn't I knock that torch out? We're going to fire it one more time. I can't wait, can't wait. Just one lonely spider, really? Hmm. Okay, I'll take what I can get. Let's do this again. Okay, now it's on. So what I should be able to do is manually fire it from down below. Uh, so right now, the water is flowing, right? Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to call it right here. Um, we've made a lot of progress. I've got some fiddly stuff to do that, you know, you don't want to hear me swearing on camera because I can't get the redstone right. Uh, and like I said, it is a process. It really is a process. So I'm probably going to go up and wrap, uh, wrap the edges of this with um, birch, kind of highlight it. I may actually thin this so the only place they can fall is on the area where, where they'll be picked up or they'll fall all the way to their death um, and that'll also that'll prevent them no you know what I may just leave that just to protect me right up here yeah I think I will okay so this <laughs> right here here you go can you see me hello hello this is Minecraft Grand, the Geeky Minecrafter, signing out of another episode. This live stream was brought to you by Yeti. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not, don't have any sponsors. But I have enjoyed this stream. I hope you did, too. If you did and you're watching this on YouTube, take a moment. Smash that like button. You can't have any idea how much it helps. Um, it helps other people find the channel. It helps you to believe that the channel is worth uh, promoting so I really would appreciate it if you take just a moment and hit that like button so this is minecraft grand saying happy mining <laughs>